Hi, Jeff Simon here for Social Flight. The next step that we're going to work on in our T51D Mustang build is a small but very complex structure. It's the rear closeout that is below the rear seat going into the rear part of the aircraft. So we want to isolate the cockpit from any uh, things that might fall. You drop a pen, you drop something else. We want to keep that from getting back into the aircraft, into anything where it could cause trouble. And so therefore we have to close out the entire cockpit. Now the sides are are simple the front is simple those are just flat pieces and previously we've completed the rear closeout which goes behind the rear seat which did have some complex angles to it but we were able to take care of that now the most complex angles are going to happen now because this is this lower area that has many bends to it and has a number of things going through it we've got the elevator push rod that goes through right below in the center of the rear seat we've got the rudder cables that go through the left and right and have to be able to go through and have some protection around them as well and then lastly we have a couple conduits that we're installing to run electrical uh, wiring and be able to push it back and forth as needed um, as we expand the systems in the aircraft all of that has to go through as we transition from this angled structure just behind the rear seat to then steps as it goes down and finally gets to the center section and where your feet go in the aircraft. So let's get started. We have some pieces from Titan that uh, go together to help deal with some of those crazy angles that happen down there and but they still need a lot of fitting and in the middle of all of this we have the rudder cable going through it so let's get to work and uh, see what we can do to get the cable routed properly and find a way to get these pieces fit and uh, riveted into place
So we're at the last step now of this closeout area for the uh, lower rear passenger compartment area. The last thing that we need to do now is we need to cut a couple openings over here for these aluminum tubes. Now in the past, uh, older designs of the Titan T51 Mustang had the coolant lines running through the center of the cockpit in a, in a center tunnel. That's no longer the case. They now run those lines outside uh, in the wing route for safety reasons. And uh, it's a great design and we can now use that space and even those parts to as conduit so that we can easily run wiring uh, and any uh, hoses or anything we need to from the forward cockpit all the way back into the tail of the fuselage. Now we have two of them so that we can run signal lines in one and power in another and we won't have interference issues. It'll, it should really help protect against that. So we have to cut to the notch so that uh, this will now fit. And then uh, the last step before we paint everything is we'll fit this baffle seal material in around the cable pass-throughs. Right now those openings are fairly irregular. We need to get that all cleaned up and then uh, cover it over with a nice small flexible hole that'll be safe for the cable moving forward. And we'll be done with this stage of our T51 Mustang build. All right, so our lower rear closeout is complete. It's a very interesting structure. Lots of adjustment went on there and we were able to use those really cool uh, flexible uh, baffle seal material coatings so that when our rear, uh, when our rudder cables go through those pass-throughs, um, they won't chafe and they'll have some protection around them and also foreign objects can't fall back. So until next time, I'm Jeff Simon for Social Flight. 
be sure to check out socialflight.com and the free Social Flight mobile apps for Apple and Android devices. You'll find tens of thousands of aviation events and destinations, airport restaurants, so many aviation things to do. And in addition to that, you've got the Fly to Win Challenge, where you can fly and get points for everywhere that you go. And for all of that, you get to compete for tens of thousands of dollars of prizes. Until next time, I'm Jeff Simon, Blue Skies.